Hello and welcome. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the PSD file. This is the Photoshop document file, and this is the primary file type for anything that you create in Photoshop. Now you can keep your layers in there, you can keep all of your editable text, any of those other things are gonna be contained within your PSD file. So you really wanna make sure Whatever project you're working on, even if you are in a rush or something like that, and you're just creating something for a website or for a project you have to turn around really quick, make sure to save your PSD file as well as whatever format you're exporting as so that you don't lose your work and have to rework it if there's a change that you need to make. And this, I've, I've done this. I've done this a lot. I've done that so many times and I really got to stop it because I've had to do a lot of rework because of that habit. Maybe I'll work on something and then I'll walk away from my computer and then, um, you know, restart my computer at some point and close the application and it won't save any of the editable file. So make sure to do that. PSD files can be used directly in your InDesign files or in an Illustrator file. I find this workflow somewhat common, actually. If I have an image that I'm editing, say I'm retouching someone's photo, someone's portrait, or some kind of landscape or something, I will do that in Photoshop and then bring it directly into Illustrator to put text over the top. And that's a really good way to go about things because Photoshop is not really, it's not made for text. It's, it's a raster based application. It's not a vector based application. So any kind of text things you want to do those in Illustrator and that makes it really handy that you can just put the PSD directly in Illustrator. So I hope that helps if I referenced any other file types or anything else in this video. I'll link them in the corresponding article that goes along with this, as well as in the video description. Thanks. Have a great day.